Uh, hi and welcome. Um, we're really excited about starting this seminar series again and we've got a lot of great response from all of you who have attended. Um, we hope you like it. We'd like you to uh, kind of tell us uh, what you like and what you don't like. Um, we're planning to have another one in June and this is going to be a regular series with updates uh, every month on what's happening in Miami's condo market. So if you all have any uh, suggestions please let us know we'd also like to thank all our sponsors uh, Fisher auction and Ash uh, I don't know how to say their name Asseline and Burlow. Burlow thank you thank you very much I was practicing but I couldn't get it right and also Tui lifestyles um, so please um, after the after the seminar please go by and see all their uh, tables because uh, certainly they all have something very interesting and I'm sure that you all would um, benefit by seeing that and uh, regarding sponsorships we're certainly looking for sponsors for all our events and if you your company or anyone you know uh, would benefit by reaching this audience please see me I have uh, sponsorship packages right outside the door and I'd be more than happy to talk to you about it okay thank you and welcome and back to John thank you Mary. Um, just want to give you a little bit of background as far as my relationship with Peter. Uh, we were reporters together for many years. Um, I have to tell you that he's a, he was a dogged uh, reporter, um, really crazy about the numbers. He loves statistics, loves baseball as well, and I think that's got to do with the love of statistics. But uh, I must tell you that um, he, he's, uh, he, I really feel he's kind of caught on to something with this company, um, and it's, um, it, he could be, uh, Pretty hard to work for sometimes, but the truth is, when, and the bottom the bottom line here is that he's onto something as far as the raw data, uh, statistics, analysis when it comes to the real estate market in South Florida, like nothing I've ever seen before. So, without further ado, let me bring up uh, Peter Zalewski. How's everybody doing? Can, can you hear me okay? Is it, is it loud enough? Is it too loud? Is it, am I too quiet? Perfect. Kind of perfect. Okay. Quick question. Um, has anybody spoken to me before? Can I say raise your hands? Okay, good. So this way I get to, I don't have to repeat myself uh, or I'm not going to be repeating myself uh, a bunch of times like I, like I normally do. Um, Muriel and John referred to uh, a seminar series of what we're trying to launch. The idea of the seminar series is not to give me a platform to basically bark out about a variety of different things. It's more so to try to create a, a venue so people who are looking for market intelligence to try to understand this marketplace, which is which is very so difficult, really so difficult to try to comprehend because it's, it's really kind of the fog of war is the way we refer to it. So what we're looking at doing is we're probably going to be bringing in some executives, uh, some uh, some uh, entrepreneurs, some bankers, some uh, uh, we might even try to get some regulators in here to talk about a variety of different topics that are really sort of key. It's not going to be the stuff that you necessarily see in the paper. Uh, it may be some of the stuff you see in the paper, but it's really kind of like what does it take to do a deal? One of the things that we pride ourselves on is the fact that uh, I'm effectively a sergeant and I have a bunch of infantry that's out on the ground in the trenches day in, day out. Uh, when the Wall Street funds approach us, and we've been approached by close to 300 funds from all over the world, Greenwich, Connecticut, to Wall Street, to, uh, to Singapore, to uh, Vancouver, you name it. I've gone out to more lunches and dinners than you can imagine with, with fund money. And what they're all trying to figure out is what's going on on the street? How do we get that information? Why, why isn't it readily available? And it's a very simple answer. Nobody wants to get out there and hit the pavement. That, that's the bottom line. They're all looking to go online and try to uh, figure it all out. And what we figured out very early is, why not go and try to uh, quantify the market, try to understand the market, what's out there, what's not out there, and now suddenly when you have the fog of war but you have that information, it's almost like you have this drone that's flying over the battlefield reporting back to you as to what's going on, and it helps you to sort of figure out your strategy one way uh, or another. So with that, I would just, you know, I'd encourage you as we go forward, you'll probably see some pretty interesting topics related to the seminar series. And uh, it's, again, it's not just a, a platform for me to get up here and talk. What I thought would be interesting, though, to kick this seminar series off, would, would sort of talk about some of the information that's readily available, uh, at least in, in, within our organization. The information, I guess, has caught a lot of attention. It's caught so much attention that the Miami Herald did a, a story on it last week. The Wall Street Journal had a story on it uh, yesterday. It's been covered all over. And effectively, w what we look at is we're looking at greater downtown Miami. This is really sort of the epicenter as to what, what's happened, what's going on, kind of where the play is going to be. And it's our thought that uh, it's really a laboratory 
the product, the ways that the product is acquired, the ways that the product is lost, is probably going to be replicated in a variety of different markets throughout the United States. Um, just so happens we have an office in Las Vegas as well as San Diego. I tell you, we're about six to nine months ahead here in Miami versus what we're seeing out there. So we're hoping we can kind of sharpen the knives, do what we do here, create some great, create some value for some of our, our clients, and then later on try to turn it out and, uh, and play the same game out on the West Coast. So we've already been on the ground up there for about a year or so. So I'll be spending a lot of time over the summer uh, going over to the West Coast trying to do the same thing. We have people on the ground there who understand the, uh, the product much better than I do. But that being said, if we can bring some market intelligence and some institutional knowledge from here, play it over there, it could, could get really exciting. So.